I've always been a bit of a dreamer and I love thinking about the millions of possibilities of things I could do with my life. But too many times I've been too afraid to start down a new path and think, what if I fail? What if I'm not good enough? But most of all, the biggest thing, what will other people think about me? Anytime you try something new, especially with creative work and putting yourself out there into the big wide world, there's always gonna be that level of vulnerability to it. It's like you're opening yourself up to be judged by the whole world. Now you could take the easy way out like I've done in the past and eliminate all those fears by just never sharing your work. But artwork and stories are meant to be told and shared. As some of you may know from series one of the vlog on this channel, I quit my job as a mechanic to chase the dream of traveling the world while being self-employed and running my own business from my laptop. Now, I haven't been able to travel in the last year due to COVID restrictions, travel bans in place and all that stuff. So I built this cabin to live in in my parents' back garden so I could then rent my house out and also give me a chance to get debt free. These videos of the cabin build were filmed this time last year, almost a year to the day, but I've kept them to myself through fear of judgment and I never posted them. But the fear will always be there. No matter how many videos I make or how well or poorly they perform on the internet, I'm always gonna be afraid to release any new video. But I think you have to ask yourself the question, what are you most afraid of? Are you afraid of making a mistake? Afraid of what people might think about you? Or are you more afraid that the fear might stop you from ever getting started in the first place? Hey, how you doing guys? My name's John. I've just ordered the Dunster House um, 4x3 log cabin, 12 meters squared. This is it, turned up yesterday. These guys have been absolutely amazing since I purchased the cabin. Uh, they've been uh, really good with communication and you know we've had full tracking on everything and full uh, communication through emails letting us know when it's gonna be here. Big shout out to Dunster House, they're, uh, they're awesome. And the boys who delivered it, they were fantastic as well. So it came on basically a massive pallet on the uh, on the lorry and it's made up of the actual offcuts of the timber so you know there's like zero waste with this thing which is awesome so it turned out yesterday we've got a massive pile of uh, timber there um, in my in my dad's garage we've actually got I'm not sure if the, you can see that's the doors and windows there and then actually down on the foundations that we have built we've got the uh, the floor beams, the timbers for the floor, the treated timbers. So they're all there, which we laid out yesterday and they're all ready to rock and roll. So we basically just put a, um, a four by four concrete slab in. Uh, so we've allowed ourselves about half a meter for a little bit of decking on the front, and which obviously when the cabin goes up and you've got that overhang, it just enables you to have that little bit of uh, yeah decking under the shelter so and then under here we've got the uh the insulation and the osb for the roof so all i've literally done with this cabin is all of the cabin i've ordered no extra felt um no insulation no roof panels nothing like that um i've done that all myself i just found it cheaper so yeah um we're going to be hopefully getting this up over the next 48 hours it's not going to be like a step-by-step -step process to show you guys how this is done it's more so just to give you a feel of um how how it is for just two normal blokes to put this up. So yeah, we're just gonna, uh, just gonna try and get this thing up as uh, quickly and logically as we can and uh, show you guys the process. All right, so we got the, uh, the first logs in. Some of them are a little bit twisted, <laughs> but at the end of the day, this is timber. Um, the back timber, the first one you put down is a half log, the same as the front two. Um, so you screw, two floor bearers together at the front, two floor bearers together at the back, um, and then the half log at the back, you screw down through about 500 mil apart, um, all the way up at the back. Um, and again, you can, uh, you can bring it in, if it's twisted or anything, you can bring it in line as you go along. So, um, and then you use two full logs. Now, these are not flat at the bottom. I thought these had to be flat at the bottom, but you'll see they do still have the tongues at the bottom here. They're just a normal wall log which goes there. So don't try and like hunt around for, <laughs> hunt around for a, flat, a flat log at the bottom. That's it though. You 
bolt it all together, we put a full log. So one of the full logs for the back wall, we then lay on the front and we just line it up roughly, get a rough measurement, make sure we're sort of halfway square, um, double check stuff, screw it all down and then do your cross measurements and make sure it's square and we're within about 0.5 of a mil of being square so <laughs> we're pretty damn happy with that um but we've made sure all the way going through like putting the foundations in and everything else that everything squares up perfectly so yeah floors down um well not the floor but the base of the wall and now we're going to start building the walls up ready to get the uh ready to get the window in so yeah exciting times <laughs> Say we finished building the uh, the walls up to window height now, which uh, was nice and easy. There was a few little twists here and there, but we just used the space of uh, the spaces and packers that come in uh, in transit to pack it out. Um, just give them a bit of a tap down. Make sure you don't damage any of the tongues. It's all gone on pretty straightforward, so super happy. Now I'm just going to. Uh, Sorry, next door is like building a house still. Gonna finish building the, uh, getting the door frame together now. And then, uh, yeah, get the door frame in, get the window in, and then continue building up. Again, I'm sorry if you can't hear me, but there is so much noise being made by other people. <laughs> neighbors quick caveat for the door i had to take the door frame back out because we forgot one thing we didn't forget we just had to drop it in and just double check some measurements um, when you put the door frame in you need to screw these brackets on now these are different sizes depending uh which wall thickness you've gone for if you've gone for the 28 mil i think they're 19 um, and then these brackets for the 45 thick mil walls are 25 so um, you put a bracket sort of down by the first base hinge down here, bracket up the top here, and then you do the same on the inside of the door frame. So you've got a bracket down there, you've got a bracket here. And then when you slide the door frame in, then as you build the walls up, top bracket, uh, sorry, top hinge, and about halfway down again is where you put your next ones. And again, the same for the logs. Um, you know that that go in to slot those in place so yeah um, you have got smaller ones for the window so if I just show you these are the ones for the uh, well these are the ones for the door and then you've got slightly shorter ones which are for the window so yeah um, but it's all self-explanatory as long as you read the instructions and you actually like highlight that and don't forget to do that um, it's pretty easy to follow so we're just now going to try and do the most complicated bit of the build which is actually just get the door frame slid down with the brackets in place and just make sure we can get it all the way in um and that's it really that's the most complicated part everything else just slots in place so uh, wish us luck <laughs> absolutely smashing it this morning <laughs> really easy build um, it's half 11 so we've been going for four hours um, and in between like reading the instructions making sure we're doing everything correctly um, you know this is the result so we've uh, we've got to roof height now we've put the uh, purlins in at the top something to note is when you put these in up the top these are angled left and right so you've got a chamfer at the top which allows for the angle of the roof so just make sure you get them around the right way and you don't screw them all together then find out that <laughs> you've got them mixed up so um yeah all the all the brackets are on either side for the for the door frame and the window frame and yeah it's uh, it's looking awesome it's looking awesome so really spacious inside as you can see loads of room uh this is the 12 12 square meter inside so the four by three meter cabin um 
yeah it's, it's awesome really really chuffed so the next thing to do we're going to get the apexes on front and rear which come already built so you haven't got to worry about angles and all that sort of thing um so we'll get those in get the three purlins in for the roof that hold it all together they then have to be screwed down we're just going to check our levels make sure everything's locked down and nice and tight um yeah and then it's time to put the roof in pretty much so exciting times <laughs> I said the roof is on check it out <laughs> you can just about see <laughs> well happy well happy if I come around the front and show you that is it amazing well chuffed so all we've done is nailed the tongue of roof boards on the roof and now we're completely enclosed inside let the camera adjust so that's what you get and uh, it forms a really nice shadow gap as well where you leave that couple of mil in between the boards there's a nice shadow gap there but like i say that allows for expansion during the summer so yeah well chuffed so now it's time to I think we're going to get the insulation done on the roof and then get the boards on and get the felt on get it watertight so yeah and then once that's done, floor down, insulation, floorboards, rock and roll. Doors. Doors. <laughs> and now we've got to fit the damp, damp proof membrane <laughs> to the roof. Um, then get the insulation on and the OSB before putting the felt on. So some of you might be wondering why we fitted a damp proof membrane to the roof. Mem membrane, membrane, membrane. <laughs> membrane to the roof. Um, on the insulated roof version of this cabin, which we're basically recreating at like a fraction of the cost, <laughs> um, you fit a damp proof membrane, which then reduces condensation inside the cabin. And it also um, acts as just another barrier. Uh, if you did happen to have a hole in the felt or you know a leak somewhere, um, it's just that extra, um, that extra barrier to prevent water coming through into the cabin. So yeah, that's why we do it. So day one of the cabin build is complete and uh, we smashed it, <laughs> really, really chuffed. As you can see, the entire thing is built. Roof, like I said, we've got the damp course there, um, insulation and chipboard, so we've done our own insulated roof, which like I say, is like a fraction of the price if you were to buy it from uh, is it Dunster House? Dunster House, yeah. Really, really pleased, over the moon with it. It's looking great. Um, tomorrow we're gonna get the felt on. Um, we spent about an hour naffing around this evening just trying to decide how we was gonna do the edge of the roof so as that we uh, can put the um, guttering in place. But um, yeah, yeah, over the moon. All we've got left to do is the felt, uh, insulate the floor, put the tongue and groove on the floor, and then um, adjust all the doors, get the doors uh, opening and closing right. So, because they're hung, but they just need loads of adjustment now, obviously. Um, and double checking and making sure that the frame is square. Um, but overall, I'll just give you a quick flip round, and you can see. So, there it is. That is the cabin. So, absolutely awesome. Show you down the side. Not that. There we go. Wait for the camera to focus. Um, yeah, I'm really, really pleased. It's a, uh, it's a lovely cabin. It really is. So, and for the money, the build quality is uh, exceptional. I'm dead chuffed. I mean, over the years, I've had my fair share of timber from the likes of Wix, B and Q, Travis Perkins, um, Build Base. So yeah, to have timber like this to work with and to have all the instructions nice and clear to follow, um, yeah, it's spot on. So. Be back tomorrow for uh, part two.
What are you saying, Mum? Too much information. You mean too much information? It's not too much information. Thank you, Mum. <laughs>